hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. And we are fighting the second battle of the historic battles on Grand Tactician the Civil War. We're going to be fighting as the Union. Uh, today's battle, the Battle of Wilson Creek, or Oak Hill, took place on August 10th, 1861, near Springfield, Missouri. Um, I'm going to be hugely, massively, wildly outnumbered in this one, so... Uh, I'm going to do what I can to uh, win this, but <clears throat> got to be honest with you, I don't really think I'm going to. A uh, battle took place in the early days of the Civil War, so a lot of these guys are um, seeing combat for the first time. Uh, we are going to be assaulting uh, Benjamin McCullough. We're going to be taking Nathaniel Lyon into battle. Uh, Samuel Sturgis, Ron Siegel, George Andrews, and George... Ditzler is going to be uh, on the field of battle for us. Uh, we're going to be going in with 5,600 men, 16 guns, 750 ca cavalry uh, to their 10,200 and 4,400 cavalry. So uh, they're going to be fighting with Nicholas Pierce, James McIntosh, Sterling Price, and James Rain. You can read this as you wish. I'll scroll slowly. Right now I'm uh, up to the uh, Peninsula Campaign in the first book of uh, Shelby Foote's trilogy. I uh, really wish they had some of the uh, some of the battles from the, uh, the fight around Richmond in here, but they don't. kind of makes me want to go... Play, uh, the uh, Ultimate General Civil War game just for those battles. Uh, really, really interesting read. Um, glad I started uh, reading it. Um, so today we're going to be fighting Wilson's Creek. Uh, before we get started, I want to direct your attention to another YouTuber, actually a couple. Uh, Worms and Warriors is doing the Confederate playthrough of the historic battles. Um, he's a really good player, really entertaining to watch. Uh, I'm enjoying the series. Uh, Grumpy Grumpa Gaming is done with his uh, 1862 Union campaign already. That was a pretty quick series. He's really good and also very entertaining. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my attempt at the Union Battle of Wilson's Creek. Telegraph from General Lyon, dated August 10th, to Major General J.C. Fremont, the Pathfinder. I retired to this place, reaching here on the 5th. The enemy followed to within 10 miles of here. I find my position extremely embarrassing, and am at present unable to determine whether I shall be able to maintain my ground or be forced to retire. The enemy yesterday made a show of force about 5 miles distant, and has doubtless a full purpose of making an attack upon me. We're going to be on the attack, which apparently we are, despite what this says. Our scouts report the enemies near Springfield, Missouri, and our army is prepared for battle. We're facing the Western Army under the command of Benjamin McCullough with a strength of some 5,000 men and 10 guns. The enemy army is green, and the morale is reported determined. Supply state is outstanding. All right. So these are the positions we have to take. Uh, we're starting from up here. I think this is all we have here. Army of the West. Oh no, we got Siegel. 
one hour. Peace. All right, so we're looking at some small brigades. A couple of cavalry units here, a couple of artillery, uh, with more to come. We're going to kind of sit tight for an hour and wait for them to show up. Uh, we can deploy, let's see, at least we're on one side of the river here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push south, maybe take this first objective, Oak Hill North. Before we move any further, by then the uh, rest of our reinforcements should be here. We can take that, get up on the high ground. Uh, when they come at us, we should be at in a better position to attack. So, well, not attack, but you know what I'm saying, right? Be in a little better position with our two to one disadvantage. All right, let's get this started here. I guess we uh, we don't get to deploy. Oh, let's grab some cav. And detach the cav. They can go out in front of us. That's good. Alright, while my guys get into position and uh, wait for the reinforcements, I will cut here and back to you when we are a little better prepared. Alright, Franz Siegel has arrived. He's way down here. Uh, got a long way to go before he even gets across the river here. Really, you know, if I want to try and send them, well, I guess we don't really have a choice here. Let's send him down here. And we did sight the uh, Confederates up here. They're right on the objective with cavalry, so... Uh, we're looking at Yeah, about 1,300 Confederate cavalry. We don't have the uh, cavalry brigade size to really go on the attack, so we don't have the infantry brigade size really either. All right. So, I don't have any artillery out on this, on my left either. Damn, that sucks. I guess we could bring the artillery up over here. Try and get some type of uh, sight on them so we could... Hit him with the artillery. Go long range with our uh, 
Guns on this side. Move them up to this road here on this side. Turn off the uh, user roads. Really, really not liking these brigade sizes. Let's end our uh, detached cavalry out on our left. Our left is going to be stronger than our right. By far. Seagull's actually making some pretty good progress coming around the other side here. I can pressure him from the north and south and force him to split. We may have a better chance, so that's the plan. Is I'm gonna stay up here and work on these cavalry while Seagull gets into position um, down here in the south. Uh, he's gonna move. Straight up the road here towards the objective. You're at uh. I can see it. Sharp stubble field. But they do already have their full force on the field of 11,000, so... We'll get to work on the north, let Seagull get into position, and uh, hopefully we can converge in the middle. Alright, here we are. Our uh, infantry is opening up on them. Uh, guns don't have line of sight because they're in the tree line, but I'm going to move them forward a little bit and hopefully that gives them something uh, a little better to uh, shoot at. These guys right here. You up a little bit. I haven't taken any casualties, but inflicted 25. Down in the south, uh, Seagull is across the river. They are moving forces up uh, to join with their group up here. Another 450 cavalry and then uh, 300 infantry. Burbridge's infantry. Really want these guns to get into position here. They're almost there. They almost have at least enough sight to be able to hit this one uh, cavalry brigade here. Turn 50 men.
Right, let's get our cavalry moved up. I'm going to bring them over here. Try and deal with whatever happens to come up the road. Oops. How are our guns doing? Almost. They should be able to open fire now. Holy shit. Well, here comes their force. Two hundred infantry. Seagull, how you doing down here? He's moving up. There we go. I hear some guns booming. Hit this guy out here in the open, these two brigades. I have to move them forward some more. Send Plumber up because he's got a few more men than uh, Steel. <coughs> Hell yeah. dismounted. They're sending some skirmishers up. Right, fire on them. Plus he's in cover. Looks like he's wide out in the open though. If anything we could use the equally small size of their uh, brigades to our advantage here as this a lot more of them All right oh we got some cavalry down here starting the stubble field 60 65 wow 300, 350, so about a thousand, or over over a thousand. Seagull's gonna be tied up down here for sure. All right, looks like their cab is moving off a little bit. Oh, oh no 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 no! Probably would help if I actually clicked on him. Hey, right, let's get you moved up. we can trap him up against the river and okay all right let's get our guns moved out over here uh, not using the roads not using the roads
going to take them forever to get through there. Payne's cavalry is about to go. here. Everybody moving forward. I want to shift everybody over to our left. <coughs> Excuse me. guys. They're taking heavy losses over on our left over here. You up a little bit. They're getting hit by artillery, that's why. There they go. They're breaking. be firing with our guns down here and we are Let's keep you pressing in. I could actually send out some skirmishers from these guys, but I'm not going to. At least not right now. He's not feeling the battle, I guess. Get you moved up a little bit. ammo. I don't think our cab's going to last long over on this side. And causing a little bit of casualties over here. Uh, this could be a problem if these guys don't get across the uh, river. 
in a timely fashion. Move up just a touch. There's another one of our cavalry, and he's only got eight rounds. <clears throat> All right. Here he comes. All right. Move you out a little bit. Not sure why they would just sit there and take artillery, but I'm not going to complain about it. have the two of you focus on this brigade that's charging. Alright, you come in on them. Well, no. Hit them. And your 150 can add to the uh, fire going into this brigade here. Hasn't taken any casualties. They're firing. Falling back. Really no way for me to go or I'm not going to put my uh, guys out in the open. But we'll get them moving forward here. Actually, alt U. Five. He's almost out of ammo. All right, what's going on down here? Looks like they're uh, starting to gather their forces. What do we have coming in on us here? 850 in the... Uh, this brigade here. Now let's start moving up on them. But you didn't know they had phones in the Civil War.
All right, my hope is that we soften these guys up enough with our artillery that we can uh, bring our brigades in on them and then focus on these guys. Uh, all right, let's deal with this guy here. Want to get that battery out of the way. hold you actually so we get a little more assembled and we got more coming from this side low <laughs> they're gonna be out in a minute Guy hanging out here in the open isn't doing us any favors. All right, turn to face him with the last of your ammo. Hopefully, push him back. And they're starting to come out to deal with our cav on this uh, on this side here. have you just come in on the attack. Osterhaus isn't going to do much with his 150 men, but did they leave their guns wide open? They did not. Come out on the, the Missouri State Guard over here. Uh, Wingo's infantry, let's hit him from the side over here. Have you come up? Attack, boys, attack. All right. Now you come in and hit them. He's about to run out of ammo and leave the field, so. Well, they left the cavalry, or their, uh, in damn, artillery in the rear, which is really smart. Uh, we're going to have you halt, and then come in on this side over here. Good. 
You only want to just deal with this. Are we looking down here? Are we firing on him yet? No. But I gave you a long range. I did. Mixed muskets, so that's why. Gonna be exposing him to flanking fire, but we can bring our uh, cap have up to uh, tie these guys up. Oh, look at that force coming across the bridge. <laughs> this could be bad. If we can bottle them up across the bridge, that would be fantastic, but they're bringing up more guns, so I think that's what's causing the majority of our casualties is that battery right here, which is now wide open. Alright, you come in and hit them. They look to be too bottled up. They look like they're uh, getting across the bridge just fine. That's probably not a good thing. All right, how are we doing down here? All right, I want you to... Yeah, you're fine. Focus fire on him, and then we'll switch up here. Jesus. We can take that battery out. Might be in a better position here. Let's... We can get these guys moved forward. We might be in a better position here. Oh shit. Now who's running low? Plumber low on ammo. Now the rest of their force shows up and just wipes me out. And still, so I can see how many men you have. Look at this. That's, that's a pretty sizable brigade right there. Compared to what we have. Well, they did launch a... Charge at us. That's ballsy. Right, turn your attention over here. Guns. Shift focus. Right there. Uh oh.
Got to get this guy moved up. 800 men haven't come into the fight yet. Knew I wasn't going to get over there in time with our guns. Get our 120. Uh oh. Yates wounded in action. Yates disintegrated. Hundred and five broken. Come on, guys. These guys don't seem to want to go anywhere. They're just hanging. Another 750 men coming in. Major defeat now. We're just going to keep shifting fresh troops in here. No casualties. 35 casualties. 25 casualties. Here, hit them. Start shelling them. Nothing we can do to turn this one around. Oh, they're launching a charge. Here, offer support. Charge, charge your 20 men. <laughs> All right. I think everybody up here is broken, yep. So we lost every single one of our guns. More than almost two thirds of our cavalry and slightly less than half of our infantry. We got skunked. Historically, fairly accurate. I wasn't really expecting to win this one anyway, so. We put up a good showing, we just didn't have the numbers. We'll use McClellan's excuse. Didn't have the numbers. I shall not be held responsible for what follows. All right. Anyway, that was the Battle of Wilson's Creek. A complete debacle. Next up is P Ridge. Uh, 
Now we're outnumbered again, but anyone good we gotta we got Seagull again. He did fairly well. Jefferson C. Davis, huh? Yeah, he caught a lot of shit. Earl Van Dorn. Look at this guy. Albert Pike. That's gonna be our next battle and our next episode. Anyway, if you liked <laughs> if you like the Battle of Wilson's Creek, hit the like button. If you want to follow along through all of these, I will be doing them as I read them in Shelby Foote's trilogy. Uh, up to Shiloh. So we'll do Pea Ridge, Glorietta Pass, Shiloh. By then I should be at Manassas, maybe even Antietam. So first book covers up to Perryville. And you'll get them as I read about them. If you want to follow along through all that, hit the subscribe. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below, and we'll see you at P Ridge. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.